Hello, my name is Pamela Wheeler, and I have had the privilege of serving the Lord in Sarodi, Uganda since July 2005. I have had the opportunity to lead the children's ministry at Serere Independent Baptist Church, a village church plant. I have seen the children grow in their love for God, memorize scripture, sing hymns, and share Christ's love with those around them. A few years ago, I was given the opportunity to teach Bible after church on Sundays at God's Grace Primary School in Serere. With teaching over 100 children there every week, this was certainly unexpected and became a very fruitful ministry. The children were always excited to learn the stories in God's Word, memorize scripture so that they could earn their own Bible, and then many put their trust in Christ after learning about His great love for them. A ministry near and dear to my heart is Sarodi Orphan Assistance Project. It is here where other BIMI missionaries and I have been able to take care of destitute orphans. What a joy it has been to see the children grow physically, mentally, emotionally, but most importantly, to grow spiritually. We have had many opportunities to learn life lessons together, to play together, and to serve the Lord as a family united in Christ. A highlight in the ministry for me has been to spend time with the teenagers as we've been able to study God's Word and learn how to share our faith with a greater zeal. Also, having a teen girl Bible study where we've been able to deal with the topics important to the girls at this time in their lives has been significant. Thank you for praying for us at Sarodi Orphan Assistance Project. An important ministry in Sarodi is Independent Baptist School, the Christian school for the orphans. I had the opportunity to teach many different subjects and many different grade levels throughout the years, but I also had the privilege of being the principal for 12 years. It was as principal that I was able to learn the struggles and successes that the students would have in class, as well as encourage them to keep on focusing on their studies. I also had an opportunity to work closely with the national teachers, one-on-one and in group settings, where we were able to study different teaching techniques that would help them be better teachers in the classroom. After primary school, the students go into secondary school. After four more years of study, they then can pursue a trade or further education in universities. We have seen many of our young people have success as some have studied for the ministry. Some are studying to be nurses, doctors, and teachers, as well as local trades such as seamstresses, welders, electricians, mechanics, and even chefs. We praise the Lord for how He is directing each young person as they prepare to serve Him in the future. Ministry opportunities in Sarodi abound. Every week we are able to go out with our church members as well as the orphans for soul winning in the local area. We are able to go to the hospitals and different establishments as well as surrounding villages where we can hold one day Bible clubs. We are able to do community service whether it is cleaning the compound, slashing, fetching water, or taking care of other needs. Discipleship can be done at the local schools, as well as with ladies from the church and surrounding area. Saturdays became one of my favorite days of the week, as we were able to go to a predominantly Muslim neighborhood and spread the gospel through songs, Bible memory, and Bible stories, as well as tract distribution. The children each week were eager to learn about the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. God works in unexpected and unexplainable ways, and He has done just that in my life as he is leading me to serve him through missions in Botswana, Africa. I am very excited and thankful for the opportunity I have to work with BIMI missionaries, Mike and Cindy Haley. Pastor Haley is currently pastoring Grace Baptist Church in Gaborone, Botswana, the capital city of the country. 
Within this ministry, there are many facets of reaching the nationals for Christ through activities in the local church, and most especially through soul winning. 17,000 copies of the New Testament in the Setswana language were just printed by the church and distributed throughout town and in the local schools. The government has been very thankful for this opportunity and is even wanting to make the New Testament a required textbook in all of the schools within the country. Along with the public school ministries, the Lord has also given Grace Baptist Church the ability to hold village Bible clubs. As a thriving New Testament church, Grace Baptist Church is ready to go into their own building. We praise the Lord that this school building is becoming available and would be a perfect fit for the ministry. Not only that, it would be a perfect beginning for a Christian school in the capital city. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Maybe the Lord is working on you and your family to serve with us in Botswana, Africa. Corey Ten Boom once said, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Someone somewhere is depending on you to do what God has called you to do. Please pray for me, Pamela Wheeler, as I seek to do what the Lord has called me to do in Botswana, Africa.